If you are not manifesting that wonderful blessing of mind, then it is our fault. It is not because of God's intention, but because of our deviations from the true path. In an ideal life, My life is a little after the little of the things. The celebration of the little of my is we do fear. But the my life is the manifestation of this celebration. That we have to keep in our mind. In my life, we will meet with many problems of the world. Neither of the wealth, nor of education, nor of our positions or beauty, anything in the world, and we also will be so of those problems. But a couple has submitted their life to Jesus Christ. By the grace of Christ, they will be able to solve all the problems which they meet in their life. The crown is given up in the second part of the life. Before that, rings are given, blessed by God, in their hands. We are in the of their lives. It is like a total. That's why Jesus Christ has been through this world. That's it. With the two, the body and blood of Christ. It's like the rings are blessed and good to be married. That shows a married life or a family life. It's a microcosm, a small unit, single unit of the church. And they manifest the mind of the church, the lifestyle of the church in the mind. And they are going to receive the crown from Jesus Christ. And that crown is symbolized. It is going to be received in the eternal kingdom. That is symbolized in the ceremony of coronation. Or in the blessed crown of this time. Finally, they will be joined by the hands. The symbol of love. By the cross, Jesus Christ and us, whether it is by the church. So the two hands of the bride and bridegroom are joined together in the form of the cross. That symbolizes two things. First, they love each other. Till the last breath in this world. Second, they will be suffering one for another for every success of the life till the end of their life. We must consider that this is the first moment we can start praying. For this uh, success of this family. So we have to keep in our mind. We are personally our children before God. And we pray for them for the very life from this time of onwards. We are going to start the prayers in your process, in all our ceremonies and celebrations. We 
praise and we praise. So I request you all to stand up for the for the ceremony that is coming. And whenever you feel you are to sit, you are free to do it. At all the times if you are able to stand, you stand during the ceremony. Because the couples and the servants, they are to stand. You are also the part and parcel of this celebration, but not all the gates rest, but part the gates of the soul. So, and with all of us, I will stand and pray for these people, and that is the success of the celebration. Our blessing will start our praise.
Sie, die Lord.